I think it's October. But I can't be sure. Uh, get a hand in adjusting to this new 21st century economy that isn't going to be based so much off of oil and gas production, but more so green technology. Hmm. Um, Kara, despite the pledges made in 2015, I want to ask you about this new UN report, which says that the world is still, quote, way off track in reducing rising global temperatures. Where did the track of global warming stand prior to the accord in 2015? And What's really at stake if leaders don't, first of all, commit to bold new action to combat climate change, but then actually follow through on that? Yeah, we are off track. The, the entire world is, is off track, Lana. And to put it bluntly, uh, lives are at stake. Billions of lives are at stake. Now, ha progress has been made. Before the Paris Agreement was signed in 2015, global warming temperatures were estimated to rise to at least 3.7 degrees Celsius. And that is catastrophic. It sounds like a, a, not a lot, but it would be catastrophic. Uh, since the Paris Agreement, the projections show that we're uh, looking at around 2 2.9 degrees increase uh, by the end of the century. When you factor in the goals that are on the table, it lowers it down to 2.4. So again, progress is being made, but 2.4 is nowhere near 1.5. And that is really the level, the ceiling that scientists believe we need to hit in order to avoid climate catastrophe. And again, what is that risk? The difference between just 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius. Uh, if, if the world, if, if global temperatures are kept to that 1.5 degree warming, uh, that would still mean that 700 million people every year are at risk of severe heat. And heat is one of the leading uh, killers in, in the world. Uh, if you look at two degrees Celsius, just a half degree more, uh, that would mean that two billion people are at risk of, of extreme heat. Uh, so just that small fluctuation means a lot for people's well-being. And also, this is really important, Lana, it's not just weather. Uh, think about small developing countries, island countries, where their economies are based off of almost entirely from tourism and agriculture. And as you see sea levels rise, as you see hurricanes get more severe, as you see droughts getting more severe, these small developing countries just see their economies evaporating before their eyes, not to mention their very own well-being. So this is the really, really crucial thing about this Global Summit coming up next week is getting countries to uh, raise their emissions ambitions so that we can get closer to 1.5 degrees warming.